This all started in my garage. A total experiment with no expectations. After being inspired by Martin Kilmus's sound sculptures, which gave popular music a visual representation, I quickly realized that if I played the same songs twice, controlling precisely the same variables, each eruption would become something different. The frequency, the paint used, its density, the tension in the membrane floating over the subwoofer, even the kind of surface the speaker was placed upon affected the outcomes. I controlled these variables, but still, no two images could ever be the same. They may have held similar attributes, but the paint's movement and shape was different each time. To me, this represented life. Any action we do might be precisely the same as another person's, but due to all existing outside forces, the outcome will never be the same. Thus, the concept of universal variability grew with the project, becoming ever stronger with each image. Working with writer Mo Libretto, adding poetic narratives that accompany each piece, conversations open up a celebration of you and everything, and everything anew. Orms had suggested to print on metal, and after I saw the first print, I instantly knew that this was the way to go. The metal gave the image a certain depth, such that the subject seemed to emerge from the surface. Depending on what angle you view the image, it appears slightly different, just like your own perspective on an event. Working closely with Andre at Orms, we began the task of color correction and manipulation. Running tests on different metal substrates, we found that a non-brushed white surface best suited the project. It was a matter of trial and error, slowly learning what worked and what didn't. In some cases, what we saw on the screen compared to the printed metal was completely different. There was no quick fix for any image, taking us hours to get each one right. From overcoming gamut problems to color banding, we had to completely rework the images in Photoshop until we overcame every issue. Each step of the way was a learning curve.